for this stretch routine, all you need is your yoga mat and a yoga block or a small stool is optional. We're gonna start in sitting with some deep diaphragmatic breaths. You all know this is my favorite way to just help relax any tension in the chest, shoulders, and in the nervous system throughout the day. So in a nice sitting position, spine is nice and straight. You're gonna place your hands on your ribs and take some big, deep breaths in. So inhale. Ribs are opening up, pressing into your hands. Exhale, let it fall. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it fall. Let's do a couple more. Good, exhale. You're also welcome to place your hands on your belly or your knees. Good. So in this position, let's just do a little bit of an abdominal side stretch. You're gonna place one hand right next to your thigh. You're gonna reach up towards the ceiling and you're gonna open up towards the side. So you're gonna feel a stretch on that right side body. So you're just gonna take some big deep breaths here, keeping the shoulders nice and soft. Don't let that shoulder creep up towards your ear and reach towards the left side. For a more intense stretch, you can take your left hand and use kind of your right knee as an anchor to open up even a little bit more. Big deep breath here. So you can look up towards the ceiling and come back down. Let's repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Right hand is towards the ground. You're gonna reach your left arm towards the ceiling and just bend that right arm so you feel a little bit of stretch on your left side. Keep your chest nice and straight towards the ceiling. You're not flexing your back. Again, you can take your right hand and put it on your left knee and open up and look towards the ceiling. Good, big deep breath here. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a rotation and spinal twist. So again, placing that left hand on the right knee, you're gonna to reach towards the sky, but you're gonna turn your chest towards the wall behind you, and you're gonna place your hand on the ground. So your spine is upright, but you're looking over your shoulder towards the right side. Big deep breath here. All of these are in an effort to kind of relax the abdominal wall muscle and stretch and lengthen those tight, tense muscles that can contribute to pain. Big, deep breath. Look over your shoulder. Soften, let it go. Let's come back towards center. Again, right hand is gonna go towards the opposite knee on the left. Arm goes towards the ceiling. Rotate behind you. Turning your chest towards the wall behind you and feeling a stretch on that left side. Big deep breath. Chest and spine stay upright and you're looking towards the wall behind you. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. And come back to center, good. Now let's get into hands and knees position. So we are going to do some cat cows to warm the spine and abdominal wall up. So wrists are underneath hands. Wrists, wrists are underneath shoulders, hips and knees are in a nice straight line. You're gonna inhale, tuck the tailbone up, chest and head go towards the ceiling. You're gonna feel that stretch in the abdominal wall and exhale, let it round. Use your breath to really help guide your movement here. Inhaling as you look up and exhaling as you round the back and look down. Again, inhale. Look up towards the ceiling, tailbone goes up, and exhale, let it fall. Let's do one more, inhale. Scooping your head and chest towards the ceiling as tailbone reaches up, and exhale, back down. Now, if it's comfortable for you to lie on your tummy, I'm gonna want you to do that, and we're gonna do a little bit more abdominal stretching in this position. If that's uncomfortable for you to lie on your stomach, then just go back into hands and knees position, and you can do additional cat-cow stretches. So, with your hands out in front of you and your elbows nice and bent, you're gonna take a deep breath in, and you're just gonna push your chest towards the ceiling. 
So you're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch in your abdominal wall, and you're just gonna breathe and soften into this position. So inhale, exhale. If it's too much toward, for your back, you can lower down. Try not to tense your glutes as you do this. Everything in your lower body is staying soft. One more breath here. You're gonna come back down. Now we're gonna put your arms out a little bit further in front of you, and as you push up, you're gonna straighten your elbows. So inhale, push up, and your chest is gonna come up even higher. I'm gonna walk my hands closer to me for a deeper stretch in the abdominal wall. So you're getting nice elongation through the abs all the way through the chest. Try not to tighten your glutes. If it's too much pressure on your back, just walk your hands forward. Big deep breath here, great stretch for the abdomen. One more breath. A lot of this is just about releasing and relaxing your abdominal wall that can get so tight or tense and often be a contributing factor towards painful periods, um, ab abdominal wall tension, tightness, pain, bladder pain, constipation. Your abdominal wall can often be the culprit. So let's push up into hands and knees and now we're gonna roll onto our backs. So starting in this position, lying on our backs, your knees are gonna be bent. And you're just gonna kind of rotate your hips side to side. So you're getting a little bit of lubrication in the hips, warming up the spine. You're gonna go back and forth, and then bring both hips onto one side. So your knees are pointing towards one side, and you're gonna open your right hand and shoulder towards the right side with your knees towards your left side. So you're gonna feel that stretch all along your obliques here. Try to press your shoulder towards the ground and take some big, deep breath. This is lengthening the side body of the abdomen, opening up the chest and shoulders. Bring your knees towards the center. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So shift your knees towards the right. They're stacked on top of each other. You've got a hand on the thighs, and then you're gonna take your left hand and rotate it back towards the wall behind you. You can look towards your left hand and just take some big deep breaths there. Try to get that shoulder down towards the ground as you breathe and soften into that side body stretch. Keep the shoulders relaxed. One more breath. Good. Now staying in this position, we are going to bring both hands towards the wall in front of you and we're gonna open up and do a more active stretch. So these are called book openers. So they're a great way to open up the abdominal wall. If you've ever had an abdominal surgery, this is a great way to stretch those muscles and actively lengthen. So you're inhaling and exhaling with each one and your arms are opening up like pages of a book. Okay, we're gonna flip onto our backs and go to the other side. So legs are gonna be towards the left side, arms are in front of you and you're gonna open up towards the right. Again, you're thinking like opening pages of a book Feel that stretch on the right side body and on the right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. And watch your breath throughout these routines. You really wanna make sure that you're inhaling and exhaling softly and gently and not holding your breath. Let's do one more. Beautiful. We're gonna roll into our side and push up into a tall kneeling position. So in this position, we're just gonna come up nice and tall and kneeling, and you're gonna put your hands on your low back, just like this, and you're gonna think about pressing your hips in front of you. So this is opening up the hip flexors in the abdominal wall, shoulders are staying nice and soft. Inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, 
exhale. If it feels too crunchy in your back, you just stop before that point, come back to neutral. Open up the chest and shoulders. You can look towards the ceiling if you'd like. Let's do one more. You're gonna tuck your toes under now so that your heels are coming up a little bit higher. And we're gonna use these heels as a little bit of an anchor to do a deeper stretch. So you're gonna take your left arm up towards the ceiling and take your right hand and reach back towards your right heel. You're gonna inhale and stretch back towards the wall behind you with your left hand. So you're getting a deeper stretch into that left hip and the left abdominal wall. Keep everything nice and relaxed. Great stretch for your abdomen and hip flexors. Big deep breath in. Exhale, let it fall. You can always take a little break and then go back into that stretch as you breathe. One more. Good, let's come back down. Same thing, now we're gonna come into tall kneeling. Bring up the right shoulder and then you're gonna take your left hand and reach towards the heel behind you. So inhale up, take the left hand, reach back towards the heel and push those hips forward as you look towards the ceiling and feel a stretch in the front body. Deep breath in. Let it fall. Deep breath in. Let's do one more. So all of this is about opening up the abdominal wall and the front body to help relieve pain. Now we're gonna go into um, a deep squat stretch that's gonna help with pelvic floor muscle relaxation. So for this one, you can have your feet nice and wide with your toes pointing out. And um, if you need to lift your heels, you are welcome to do that. That would look like this. And then you can use your elbows to press your inner thighs open. If you have a little small stool or a yoga block, I really love to place that underneath my sit bones. That helps me get into a deep squat position, have my bottom supported, and then I can really soften and relax here. So using your elbows, press the inner thighs open, keep the shoulders nice and relaxed, and you're gonna take some big, deep breaths. This is my most favorite pose to relax your pelvic floor if you haven't figured that out yet. I love it because you don't need anything for it. You can do it when you're heating up your coffee, when you're pumping your gas, when you're waiting in line, when you're brushing your teeth. It's such a great stretch to work into your day to give your pelvic floor some relaxation. If you have prolapse or heaviness in your pelvic floor or pubic bone pain, modifications for this would be child's pose or lying on your back and doing a double knee to chest stretch. Let's take a couple big deep breaths here. Big deep breath. Let's take a few more big deep breaths here. Last one. Now we're gonna end this routine in child's pose to really help everything soften before you go back to your day. So coming into hands and knees, you're gonna keep your heels together. Knees are nice and wide. Push your hips back onto your heels. I like to rest my forehead on my forearms and then just soften into those hips and let everything go. Big deep breath. This is another great alternative for a squat. It really relaxes the pelvic floor. Big deep breath here. Soften your hips. Soften your shoulders. Soften your jaw. Let's do one more breath. Good, use your hands to walk back up and you were all done with that stretch routine.